Hi, I'm Fed. I'm learning to make stuff by watching tons and tons of videos. Today, in this quickie mini project, I'm going to show you how I designed and built this microphone stand counterweight. Hi, I'm Fed. Ouch. This whole project started because I wanted to use this desktop microphone stand for my Zoom meetings, but I couldn't get it close enough to me and still use my keyboard to type. Then through the magic of buying things on Amazon, I got this mini boom arm, which extends over my desk, putting the microphone close to my mouth and still allowing me to type. And that's the whole video. Okay, see ya, bye. <laughs> Just kidding. Turns out I bought the wrong kind of boom arm, which isn't designed to work with this kind of microphone stand. Yeah, I'm not the sharpest bulb in the shed. See, if you put any weight at all at the end of this kind of boom arm, like uh, say a microphone, this happens. What I should have gotten is either an entirely different microphone boom arm with a counterweight built in, or an entirely different desktop microphone stand. But why would I admit that I had bought the wrong thing when I could just pretend that I planned to build something to fix it later on? Huh? huh? I'm always thinking afterwards. Okay, so I knew I could add weight to the base to counter the weight of the microphone. A counterweight, if you will. I'm doing air quotes, by the way. The heaviest things I had around that I didn't mind sacrificing for this project were these six rolls of pennies that I never took to the bank. I experimented with placing the pennies on different parts of the stand to counterbalance the microphone. My favorite solution was having the counterweight pennies attached where the mini boom arm screws into the mic stand. I thought it looked best, was the most stable and compact design, and kept the pennies out of the way. I was lucky to use a ruler in my testing because it told me how far out I needed to have the pennies to properly balance the microphone. Next, I iterated over several designs in Fusion 360. As I iterated over designs, I printed various tests on my 3D printer to make sure everything fit together. Stuff like the size of the counterweight hopper and the diameter of the mic stand ring. I added a lid with pins for alignment and holes for little magnets because magnets are cool guys, come on. The lid gives me the option to fill the hopper with things other than pennies like marbles or BBs or sand. The lid and hopper came together with a very satisfying snap. Once I got my final design, I printed the counterweight and lid, did some light sanding and glued in the tiny three by two millimeter magnets. And here it is, the final counterweight. It works great, I'm really happy with it. Uh, when I'm not using the microphone, I just have it pointing straight up. And when I want to use it, I loosen the knob and lower the microphone and it doesn't fall over. It works really well, I had a lot of fun designing it, and now I have a place to store $3 in pennies. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do all the YouTube things with the button smashing and the subscribing. And if you didn't enjoy it, you've been watching 1987's Ishtar, starring Warren Beatty and Dustin Hoffman. Okay, see ya, bye. Hi, I'm Fed. <clears throat> Hi, okay, yes. Today's video is a quickie. In this video, I'll show you, uh, no. If you enjoyed this video, you, um, Ha ha ha, always thinking this little, oh, I was, was very close, I was very close.